farmer has to, to interact with everything, right? All the topics around the human. So it's, it's quite interesting uh, role in society for me to, to live as and to, yeah, to see how to improve this lifestyle. So here's the path to the Syntropic back six years ago when I started my journey in this passion I found working with Syntropic Farming. I'm a professor, consultant, practitioner. I try to practice and live it as most as daily as possible. I love working with indigenous communities because I learn a lot and also, uh, yeah, it's like the real roots of the, the human culture for me and Mesoamerica that is still alive, right? So keep it, keep it that way. What motivates me personally more now, it's like kind of getting to the medium big scale because that's what I see is can make the biggest impact. It's a, a tough, a rough topic because agriculture is what is messing very directly with the ecosystems and with the destruction. It's not what I dream for the world, but it's the reality at this moment. And if we don't adjust, then we'll be doing the same. We'll be every time worse. The founder of Syntropic Farming, Ernst Gotch, he has a very deep, very deep messages. But the, the first one is that every living being in the, in the planet, they, they do their function because of inner pleasure, right? I'm at the service of life because that makes me happy. Not, and not because I will get paid of that, if not just because I, I feel happy to be here to serve. So we organize plants by layers or strata, that is a more technical name. The strata is the need of light of each plant. We have here chacruna, one of the two plants they use to cook ayahuasca. So the chacruna is kind of like the low layer that likes to be in the shade. We have another native support trees, as these ones that we call Madero Negro, it's the local name. So these, these trees, we use them for prune. We cut them every three months and all the biomass, all the trunks and leaves go into the soil. So that's kind of the logic of, of this way of farming. It's a plant a lot of species that won't feed us, but will feed the soil. This is a type of basil that we also use as a service plant because it produces so much basil, we don't consume it. So it's, it's a mix, as you see, of species. We can go a little bit more in. Mainly my main passion and main focus is working with Centropic Farming. A branch of regenerative agriculture. For me, the strongest branch, because it's rooted in very uh, deep philosophy, for understanding of how those nature works uh, from a philosophical way, but also through a very technical way. So how are the mechanisms that make the forest work and, and create more fertility and abundance? Let's go. Yeah. This is a four month syntropic system that we plant. It's quite young. It's focused on fruit trees. Here's a citrus, mandarin. And all this is with support species. This is the bush bean called gandul. This is another type of bean. It's called cannabalia. All these are for service. If we don't plant anything that we want to harvest or we will have some interest, we won't be here, right? So we plant forests with love species that will serve for us. We have plants in different layers that are being pruned and that are feeding our fruit trees. In this case, it's the breadfruit. There's another Mayan nut. And every line, there's different species. There is cacao, durian. Every row, there's different species. Dead is not something bad. Dead brings more life. Understanding from this perspective, we plant in a lot of density, diversity to cut. And this, this biomass is what regenerates, what accelerates the regeneration of the soil. What is the magic of this, this biomass, these leaves and trunks? They convert into fertile soil. Compost is the most valuable thing. The process 
into this getting into soil, it, it stimulates the plants. If we separate the process, then who is going to make the composting here? There, will, there won't be work for the insects of the soil. Given this, we are giving them work. The new soil has been created. You can see all these little balls. All this is the poop of the insects. And this is the fertile soil. It's what we call humus. The humus that in the modern society we think just come from the worms. Every insect gives humus, not just the California worms. Optimization life department. All the insects, all the animals that manage plants, their intention is that, optimize. All the insects and all the life that is here, what they do is because of a reason that the most of the time we don't understand through the human perspective. But if we ask, what are you doing here? What, why? No? Insects, they are, not, they are not incorrect. They are connected, right, to all the ecosystem. And they work for create abundance for everyone, not just for themselves. The centropic systems can create one centimeter of soil every year. That naturally in the forest could take 20 years. It's not just doing the same as nature. If we are accelerating the process that nature does, because nature has no, no hurry. But we, we have hurry of regenerate our lands, our degraded lands. I'm hairy about it. Ernst says that agriculture is the most sophisticated art. And a farmer is not just a farmer or hand laborer. A farmer is, is a whole integration of knowledge, of biology, anthropology, sociology, all the topics around the human. If you have the right intention, you enjoy it. And you really feel this pleasure of serving. So, something that is uh, bigger than, than me. All this is not for me, it's for everyone that is here. Animals, humans, all. So that's kind of like my main mission in this, in this lifetime I have here, to share that with people and try to get inspired. And I'm here.